what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? I just saw one of the most pathetic things I've ever witnessed in my life. A wannabe gang member got caught out of pocket in the wrong neighborhood. Got his car vandalized and the brakes beat off of him. The video picks up with dude crying about how these guys have vandalized his car and he's stuck. He need help. People are weird. Nobody will come out and help him. He all by himself. Then the dude, I guess, got back on him and was like, you know, put hands on him. And then he was like, yeah, you know, this is easy. Apologize. Made him apologize. And he was scared that he was shook. He was shook, shook. And he cried the whole, I mean, it was just pathetic, fam. Now I know that it's a big thing you know, for some people when a man cries. Look, I'm not one of those dudes that don't believe that a man should ever cry uh, under any circumstance. That's not me. I mean, men are human if you didn't know. I have no problem with that. But it's a time and a place for everything. If you are caught out of pocket in enemy territory and you are a willing gang member, you are a participant, you are active, you get caught out of pocket and get your head uh, knocked off, get your hat brought to you, then you got to deal with that. That comes with the territory. You don't cry like a little old bitch. You see? Now, you keep that same energy that you had when you was talking tough. Keep that same energy that you had when you was with your boys and you felt gangster, you had your guns and you know you had the advantage. Keep that same energy. I mean, I can't even believe, dude. Well, I can believe it. It's, it's, it's things like that, you know. If somebody allowed their emotions to take over them like that, in the past, these type of things would have been suppressed. I mean, somebody, nobody would ever like them. In fact, if somebody said that you cried, you'd be, you lying, nigga, I ain't crying, you lying. You know, it's my word against your word. Now, you got the internet, and it ain't like the internet sneaking up on them, filming it, and putting it out. <laughs> they filming themselves and putting it out on the internet. What made him think that, that was honorable? To film himself, first of all, taking an L, and then crying, crying, I mean, like snotty nose crying. Yuck. Somebody is probably in a relationship with him. Some woman is probably in laid up and gave herself to him. How do you respect somebody like that? And then when the police show up, oh, he Billy Badass now. I'm gonna kill that, I'm gonna kill that. He, tell them, he even tell the police, I'm gonna kill that. Well, he was right there in your face. Why you didn't kill him when he was putting hands on you? Him right there in the red hat. He, he, got, he got a gun. And he got a gun, too. <laughs> Fam. <laughs> Who raised him? Where'd he come from? I mean, they could not have been birthed. They had to be invented. <laughs> I swear to God, I did not encounter men like that when I was growing up. I mean, men around me, they were not perfect. They definitely were not perfect. But I did not see this type of weakness, fam. No. Even 
killing the dude that you thought you could whoop, you know, you had some trepidation about it because, I mean, people just ain't going to allow you to just keep on putting hands on them. They're going to down you. So you had to be careful. Even with the so-called weakest dude, you had to be careful. I never seen dudes behave that way. Not grown men. I've never seen grown men behave that way. I, never I don't even think I ever seen a grown man cry when I was growing up, except maybe at a memorial. You know, other than that, no, I don't think I ever seen a grown man cry before. These dudes. Oh, man. This particular guy. Oh, man. That gang member stuff, it ain't for everybody. It's really not for anybody, but especially him. 6 9 come and get your homeboy, man. He's snitching again. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?